Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some more tasting. And we've been scouring the shelves of TK Maxx again to try find some of those interesting products that you find in there. Yeah, some little hidden gems and we have found some today. Yeah, because we did a video like this recently. We'll link yep. to it up there. And we really enjoyed getting to see like the mix of items in there yeah. from all over the world, aren't they? Oh, so yeah. It makes it quite a fun thing to go look at. And a lot of you mentioned you do have TJ Maxx. Quite a few of you enjoyed looking at the food department, but a lot of you said never really gone there. Yeah. So they're then gonna go. Yeah. Because that's the thing, until this, we never really scoured the food department, did we? Well, no, you see it on the way out and you it's think, like, oh, mm. no. No. We've got some nice chips and we've got some sweet stuff. If like us, you enjoy trying treats from around the world, we have a website full of British treats. We'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel and also get to try some delicious British goodies. Exactly. Right, Al, should we crack in? I think we should. It's no a hot one today, so we need to crack on so we can get our feet in some ice. Yes. <laughs> What happened to that um, outside paddling pool we used to have? We need I to know, get that back out. we do. A mouse chew through it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we need I to forgot. patch it up a bit. No, no. It's, that's the kind of thing you should do in winter, not once yeah, it's already too exactly. hot. Yeah, exactly. Right. I am very excited. We've got a, quite a few different countries here. Mm. Shall we start over here? We have some honey mustard potato crisps. Oh, these look great, don't they? Um, I saw honey mustard and I just thought I have to get those. And I believe these are from Spain. In essence, golden crisps. These are a premium pl flavor by Rubio and it says made in Spain. Oh, yeah. So I reckon they have bags of crisp, but this is like a premium bag. You know yeah. how sometimes Lay's do the premium. Slightly nice uh, upmarket flavors and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, look, it's got like a gold wow. inner. Really playing into that gold. And we like. bought these for $1.99, but apparently the RRP is $3.49. These and look these are massive. massive. Oh, I've never seen such And every such one big. looks so good and yellowy. Yeah. I'm hoping that's the honey mustard. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Summer, this one's for you. I'm considering like how yellow they are. I'm not mm. getting loads of flavor. No. But it's nice. It's a really thick crisp. Really thick. And not that greasy either, is it? Mm. But it's nice. That one had more flavour. Like the ones Summer has sent us before have been so strong mm -hmm. and powerful and punchy. And also those um, Snyder's honey mustard. Oh my god, they're so powerful. They're so strong. This has got a lovely flavour. It's just not as in your face. No, it's just quite mellow. Are you getting like a very slight peanut flavour? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the potato though. They're really nice, but I wouldn't say they were like premium or anything, because I, I feel like they need more flavor. But I think that's why they are premium. I think sometimes when things are like too, too overpowering, flavored. it's kind of like, it's a cheaper thing, like that you've over flavored it, whereas these are well flavored. Like the crisp itself is amazing. Mm. So if any of you are based in Spain, have you seen these on your shops? What are you giving those out of 10? Well, I've been to Spain recently, as of you, and I haven't those. seen them. Mm, I'm going to give them an eight. You know, I really like honey mustard crisps, but I just wish, like you, they had a bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give the crisp itself like a nine because mm. the crisp is amazing, but just like the flavor is probably just a seven out of ten. Yeah. They're just lacking a bit. Maybe it's because of America, but I feel like honey mustard should slap me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm excited for these. You found these ones, didn't you? I did. So do you yeah, want to take right. us through these? I'll out? take you through them. These are Y Lana veggie crisps, herb and garlic. These are 30% less fat than most potato chips, gluten free. They're giving me like Papa Dom slash prawn cracker vibes. Don't you think? Yeah. They look like puffed. Yeah, they do look puffed. And these are from... Hawaii, I believe. Hawaii. Dear friends, I know it can sometimes be challenging to eat right, especially when you're on the go. That's why I've created my unique line of wholesome, tasty snacks for you to enjoy. Grab a bag for today's adventure. Wishing you the best. That's sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah, I was having a hard time getting the... Um... Oh, no, sorry. Oh. Indonesia. Made in Indonesia. Although it does say Honolulu, doesn't it? Well, it Hawaii. says distributed. Oh, okay. So, Crack them yeah. open. Gluten-free, non-GMO, zero trans fat and vegan. We got these for $1.99, but it doesn't say the price. They don't oh, always do an RRP, no. These are giving me um, more like pop Dom vibe. Mm, these would be great. For a dip. Mm. We have had something just like that. The texture and the taste. Oh, that's your hand. <laughs> nice. The texture and the taste. 
is just like something. You know, um, Lay's, not Lay's, Walker's Sensations. Walker's Sensations have come out with some that are like this in a day, in a way. These not like um, some Harvest Crisp ones. Lovely The flavor. herb. It's kind of like when we had those pizza gardettos. Mm. It's like oregano. Yeah, oregano. Yeah, oregano. Mmm. Mm. I like them because they don't really taste like I'm having a crisp. Or as they proclaim to be, it doesn't taste like you're having a healthier snack. No. It tastes more like I'm having a bit of a starter in a way. I really like that. Oh, well, that and a tomato salsa would be nice. It's got cane sugar in and you can taste a bit of sweetness, can't you? Yeah. It's got leek in. Leek? Yeah. Mm. Garlic, sea salt. Oh, you're right, Kate. What? Oregano. Really? Yeah, and yeast extract. I know. Do you know your oh, flavours? that's good. I do know my flavours. Yeah. I would say they are going above the honey mustard, which I didn't think. Mm. But it's because the flavour's a lot stronger. Yeah. I really like the texture as well. I like that they're little more pop dots. Yeah, little pops. I think I might give them nine, nine and a half. I think I'm going to give them a nine. I think you found these ones as well. Yeah, I think I did. Kind of like the shorts. These are giving me that vibe. Yeah, they are like that in branding, but what they're more like is in our recent recent Trader Joe's video, yep. we had a pack of mochi. Yes, and we got three flavours. We got sea salt. We got Thai bird sriracha. And we got tamari teriyaki. Well, I'm scared about these, Al. Look, it says bring on the burn. Oh. Go bold, crunchy rice and hot sauce in one bite. So this says packed for Sun Tropics Inc. in San Ramon in California, but it says product of Thailand. Oh yeah. So these are $3.99 each, which I would look at that and think that was quite expensive. That is quite pricey for what I think is in involved. Our soft crunch mochi snack bites are born in Thailand. We start with short grain rice grown in the lush mountainside fields of North Thailand. We hope sharing the snacks we love will transform strangers into friends, Sharon and Ashley. Do you know what Sounds I'm excited good. about? What? Because the ones from Trader Joe's, I feel were lacking a bit of flavour, whereas these have all got flavour yeah. on them. Mm. I think they're such a good, like, savoury snack. Teriyaki, and then they smell lovely. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start with the sea salt, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, look, try me on soup, try me on salad. We said about oh, them be being great. croutons. It's a crouton, yeah. They literally mm. do look like the Trader Joe's ones. Yeah. Yum. But So much more sea salt. Mm. Does make them much more interesting, doesn't it? Although, it's a lot of sea salt. A lot of sea salt. Right, it tastes know. like something. Is it like a cereal, in a way? I think it's like popcorn. Or, you know, corn that fried corn. Yeah, corn nuts. Mmm. Okay, good. Mm. Quite salty. Tamari teriyaki next. Slightly salty, slightly sweet, it says. Mmm. That's lovely. Mmm. What did we have recently that was like teriyaki? Oh, the beef jerky. Oh, yeah. The vegan jerky. Vegan jerky. jerky. The beyond jerky. The beyond jerky. It's giving me that sort of... Yeah. That, that is more the teriyaki I prefer. Salt or teriyaki? Teriyaki. Me too. Mm. I'm interested for these now. Hopefully they're not too spicy because I think this could work really well on them. Isn't it funny? Some of them are much bigger. They're like little croutons. Spicy, but not like crazy spicy. My mm. mouth is like really burning Ooh, right, now, right. but the flavor's lovely. Lovely hit of spice. These aren't, I feel like these are harder to crunch because it's almost been like um in a liquid, whereas that's a powder. Oh, because that's got like a shell on. Because mm. it's like a syrup. Yeah. It kind of is like a shell on Compacts the outside. It. So you're actually are crunching through that and then you're crunching through the thing. Whereas this is quite airy. Yeah. God, they are quite spicy. Yeah. Yeah, because sriracha's got a lovely, like, pepperiness to it. I think I might go teriyaki, only slightly the sea salt mm. second, and then the spicy, because I really like the flavour of the spicy. They're just too hot for me. I think the teriyaki are number one for me. Yeah. Yeah, then the sriracha, then the sea salt. Yeah, these are really, really good. Let us know if you've had these before. I wonder if like Trader Joe saw these. Yeah, I wonder. Or not necessarily this brand mm. and then thought, oh, that would be good for us yeah. to try. They're really cool then. Really cool, I like that. Cookies. I think, should we do these coconut patties? Yes. Yeah. Now, without looking at the back, we know where these are from. Yeah. As long as they're well, we made think. in the same place. 
We tried these in our Guam box. We were sent these by Tam and Pep. Yep. From Guam, but in different flavors. And we really enjoyed them. They're a thing we weren't expecting to like, because no. they're like coconut. But we actually really love them. And we saw these in another flavor, thought we'd try them. Exactly. This is Island Rum. Wasn't one of them Pina Colada we yeah, tried? Yeah, Pina Colada. These are $3.99. So Tam and Pep, if you're watching, how much would a box of... There's a lot in here. Yeah. It's 340 grams. How much would that cost for you? And this is by the brand Anastasia, yeah. Taste of Paradise, world famous coconut patties. And because they were coconut, we didn't think we were going to like no. them. But we actually really enjoyed them. It was a lovely coconut. Actually, and was that last it? time we weren't expecting it to be covered on the bottom no, completely? No, yeah. How Island do you feel rum. about rum? I'd have it in a pina colada. Oh, wow. Is that really soft? Oh, my word. You can definitely taste rum. Is there rum in there? It's like it's been soaked in rum. It's amazing. The reason why I like that, because the other ones I like because they were chewy. Mm. This coconut's really soft. Is it because it's hot here today? I can't tell whether I'm having a cocktail or a dessert. Mm. You like rum, don't you? Mm. Even though this isn't the pina colada one, if you close your eyes, you well, can... it's coconut and rum. That's halfway exactly. through pina colada. So now I'm wondering what the difference was between the pina colada and the island mm. rum. They're quite two close flavours, aren't they? Maybe there's just more pineapple in the other one. Oh, of course, pineapple. Mm. I really like that. I don't know if I would necessarily be able to eat a whole one because the rum is quite strong, but the flavour is delicious, the after flavour is delicious, and the coconut isn't that horrible... Coconut shell. Like, flaky... Yeah. Do you know what? I think I could eat a whole pack. Never really? Mind, a whole one. So what are you giving that then? I'm giving that 10 out of 10. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, they're really delicious. It's not an item I would normally go for no. at all, but I love it. I think it's really great. And we always say when things have alcohol in them, sometimes... Oh, it makes it not as yeah, good. But that is really well done. Yeah, really well done. And if it wasn't for you, Tam and Pep, we probably wouldn't have picked these up. No. Because it's coconut patties. So if you do see these coconut patties and you're not the biggest fan of coconut, mm. still give them a go. They're really delicious. I think dad is going to absolutely love those because he likes island rum. Yeah. Doesn't he? He likes rum, I mean. And coconut. And coconut. Woohoo! For me, I would probably give that a 9 out of 10. I think it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's good. Really, really different and delicious. Hopefully after that success, yeah. we can have another success. Yeah. Right, so if you watched our previous TK Maxx video, you will see that we tried one Too of these. Good. Gourmet. It's too good gourmet, and they're these ice donut cookies. We tried, was it birthday cake or something? Birthday cake, yeah. Fun we fatty. left a couple flavors there, didn't we? Mm. And we loved them. So I'm so pleased we managed to find these. These are cinnamon roll, and I was so excited to try these. I'm just interested, will these look any more like the picture on Probably the front? Probably not. No. Soft and delicious cookies loaded with white chocolate chips, glazed with sweet icing. Sounds amazing. These ones are three forty nine. I can smell them already. Penny. Oh, they're more glazed more than glaze, the other yeah. ones. Don't you think that always looks like a real dough? They're so soft. Are again. they? Yeah, because they look small and deep on them. I think they're really deep, but, but they, these they're are actually so quite thin. flat. I didn't read that it said white chocolate. I'm surprised they put white chocolate in. But I do think it will go nice together though. Don't you? Oh yeah. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> that tastes just like a cinnamon roll. Apart from us having like Auntie Anne's and stuff, we don't really get like cinnamon biscuits or cinnamon cakes here, no. do we? So the first time we went to America and like they have biscuits and it's cinnamon, you're just a bit like, really? But actually that flavor is so good. And now I love it. Mm. Do you know what that reminds me of? What? The Wetzel pretzel. Mm. You know how you can get the pretzels and you can get the, the bites? Holes. Do you remember when we were in the Beverly Center mm. and I was feeling really jingly uh -huh. <laughs> and you said about getting some, didn't you? Mm. Or was that before? And it's the little bites and you can get a dip. Yeah, the icing dip. Oh. That's giving me totally that. That vibe, yeah. Oh! <laughs> what a lovely cinnamon. They're, they're just so delicious. And it's like such a warming and comforting flavor, isn't but it? But not overpowering, because mm. in some ways the smell of it, I thought, is that going to be really overpowering? Yeah. I didn't notice the white chocolate chips. I just noticed like a little bit of a bite. And maybe it just adds a bit of sweetness. Yeah. Because there's more icing, it almost made it more, it was like a bit more crunchy, the icing. Yeah. I think... Um, and then the cookie was really soft. Yeah. Again. If you were to pick between this or the birthday cake ones, this. what are you going? I know. It's... I think I'm going this. That is absolutely amazing. Those birthday cake ones went so quickly. So quick, yeah. And we think it was one family member. Yes. More than Who the rest of us. Who shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> but 
I think that one family member is going to really love these. Yeah, I like this flavour even more. <laughs> I'm going 10 out of 10 for these. I'm going 10 out of 10. Were you going to say 12? I was going to say 12, but I think <laughs> I'm going to stick to 10. Let's do this puff thing. I'm really excited for this. this Matt really actually picked Did these he? out. Yes. Would you say that was I May since 1931? Yeah, I May. Cream puffs. They're a bit like those other ones. Meiji or something. Oh, yeah. Product of Taiwan. It's milk pudding flavour. Milk pudding with a little crispy They're outside. probably not going to, but I really hope they have these faces <laughs> on. These are $2.99. Oh. What? They look like profiteroles. Profiteroles. Look at them all in there. They smell nice. I feel like I can smell milk Ooh, pudding. Yeah. Do you know what I'd love if I opened this up and there was a chocolate dip there? Oh, yeah, oh. that would be good. That would be so These are nice. so funny. In a little, like, basket. Ooh. So they are like a Hello Panda, aren't they? But I think the outside is a bit more, like, like crumbly. Yeah. A bit more like... Um, pastry, shoe pastry yeah. in a way. Yeah, it literally looks like shoe pastry. It's kind of smelling a little bit like a um, Kinder Bueno. Mm. What do you think to those? I really love these. These are literally like a packaged buffeta roll, it is. but with like a cream filling and no chocolate sauce. But it's so cool because it's not really something you get packaged. You know that kind of crunchy pastry. Yeah, mm. I kind of feel like that's partly one of the reasons why I'm not loving it because I really like my shoe pastry, like soft. Mm. Like when you have an eclair, I really want it to be yeah. soft. Whereas some bakers, they actually do the shoe burn more like crispy. Yeah. I, I never really liked that, but you enjoy crispy things like wafers and, yeah. and you know, when pastry's done a bit, you like the crispy. But if I was having an eclair, I'd like it soft. You'd like it yeah. soft. So I like these, but it's a bit too crispy for me. It is like a shoe bun though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I just think it's missing. They should be dipped in chocolate. I uh, yeah. Then they or would like be perfect. Or like you say, a dip yeah. with it, and you can choose. Yeah. The filling is nice, but there's not a lot of it. You taste a lot of the pastry. It's not and very sweet. And the pastry sweet. is quite plain, yeah, flavoured, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not so, like really buttery or anything. So they need a bit of improving, yeah. but... I think I could improve them very quickly by whipping up a chocolate sauce. Or and dipping them in. even just having like a little bowl of Nutella. Mm. Do you not think? Yeah. So what are you giving those then? I'm going to give them a six. I was going to say, yeah. I'm only giving them like a six. So I feel like they could have been so good, but in the end they were just a little they bit They have so much percent potential yeah. and out of that and Hello Panda, I'd rather a Hello Panda. Yeah. I like the filling though. I thought the filling yeah, was quite filling nice. Was really but nice. it was a bit lemony and I hate it when there's like a bit yeah. of lemon in there. Okay, righty ho. We've got Ooh. Lady May. Lady May. I feel like we're in um, Bridgerton. Who is in Bridgerton? The letter. Lady... Oh, Feather Whistledown. Whistledown. Lady Whistledown. I just uh, like, couldn't Penelope think about that, but as soon as you said it, I felt like mm. I like, knew it. These are gourmet gummy teddies. Oh, well, hold on a sec. I didn't realise they were gourmet gummy they're teddies. They're gourmet. Oh, so they're not just gummy teddies. No. They're gourmet, gourmet. gummy they're teddies. They're also vegan. And um, they're dragon fruit. Yeah, which is Ooh. interesting because some I actually tried a dragon fruit once because it looks epic, yeah. but it had no flavour whatsoever. How weird. And didn't we try something recently that was... Oh, it was that yep. drink. It was the Snapple. And it was delicious. It was delicious. But then we looked at the back it was and no it dragon wasn't dragon fruit. In it. fruit. <laughs> Lady May. Oh, we've got to read this. That's the only thing about these stickers. It's like you can't actually read what's intended to be read. Yeah. I think I'll be able to. This look is like Lady Whistledown. Yeah. You want to read it? She signed off. Lady May crafts indulgent confections inspired by the best premium ingredients from around the world. Beyond just making candy, we rekindle memories and influence eating trends. Our vegan gourmet gummy teddies are a fresh take on a popular treat. Pectin, real fruit juice and natural colours create truly authentic fruit flavours. In addition, gelatin-free gummies support a wholesome lifestyle for vegetarians. With only... A hundred. With only a hundred calories per serving, vegan indulgence has never tasted so good. XOXO. Mary. Mary. <laughs> she didn't say XO. Lady Mary. Oh, look. Distributed by Lady May Sweets and Confections, New York. We don't actually have many, we've not actually tried many sweets out of New York. No, not that I can think of. Interesting. I'm excited to try this. But I guess New York seems like a bit of an arduous place to have a factory to make things. Yeah, so. it's like expensive. You'd think so. So these are 249 They don't say how much. So if anyone's seen Lady May, easily mistaken with Lady Muck. 
Thank you, Mac. We're just Isn't not doing anything all day. These smell delicious. Epic. And the colour of them. Are they going to be those lovely soft ones? I'm they? hoping so, but especially as they're gelatin free. <laughs> Your face. Are they good? Are they anywhere near Albanese? No, they're very different. Because Albanese don't do dragon fruit, but they've got like grapefruit. And... I love the flavour of these. <gasps> They're so soft, you literally bite straight through them. I, I might, know what you're gonna say. I might be on my own, but I think I prefer vegan sweets because I love the way you just bite straight through that. And the thing that puts me off sweets is like how chewy they are. I actually prefer some vegan sweets mm. solely thanks to the texture. Yeah. And that's why I think Albany's, they're not vegan, I don't think, but they're more the texture of a vegan. Yeah. Sweet. And what we've learned is you can make a sweet vegan and it can still, still be taste, really good. Yeah. You can't take the sugar out of it and still make it mm -hmm. taste good. A lot of people dislike vegan items because they don't taste the same or whatever. Mm. But we have had so many vegan sweets that taste just yeah. as good and some of them better. The texture, phenomenal. The flavour, phenomenal. I like that branding. Yeah. I've seen this Lady May in TK Maxx for ages. Really? But I've never picked them up. Now I'm going to be picking them up. Definitely. They are 10 out of 10. Would you have them or Albanese? That's hard. What I like about Albanese is in the one bag, you can get quite a few different, different flavors. Where the ones I saw, I'm pretty sure they're more like individuals. Yeah. So I probably would be team Albanese, but they are just as good for me. I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 as well. Yeah. Would you have them Delicious. or Albanese? I'd have them, I think. Yeah, I think you I thought really you like would. Them. I do love Albanese, but they are phenomenal yeah, as well. Yeah, so good. Oh, delicious. Last but not least, Cote d'Or. Cote d'Or. Boucher Lake. Since 1883. Whoa, apparently these are meant to be £6.50. Wow, we got our hands on them for three ninety nine. Ouvre ici. It open is here. open. And that must be Belgium. So these are French, actually. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like we've had something similar to this. Look at this. They Boucher. were like fudge. Yeah. We haven't really had any many French videos, have we? No, had I don't any? think so. Cote d'Or. Twice now, I've driven to France and come back, and I With thought nothing. I should bring I should bring something back. <gasps> yeah, because each time I've left on a Sunday, and I oh, always and leave it's... it to the last day to get stuff, and all the supermarkets are closed, so Classic. I can't get anything. So have a look at this then. It sounds like it's milk chocolate with hazelnut and almond filling. It's a nice little chunky fella. I like. Ooh. I like that. Looks like a sleeping dog or something. It looks like it? a race car in a way. Yeah. Just need to put some wheels on it. And the chocolate is melting in my hand. Mmm. I felt like you'd like that when I read it was hazelnut mm. and almond. It's got like a really nice solid chocolate shell. Oh yeah. And then soft and on then the inside. And the middle is really soft. Right. I might as well just finish that. Mmm. Mm. You know I when like I say I want that. chocolate to fill my mouth? Mm. Oh, it's gone everywhere. Wow. That would be so good with a cup of tea mm. or an ice cold yeah. water. And isn't it so decadent and lovely the way it like really just fills your mouth with flavour and richness and chocolate and hazelnut? Oh, it's amazing. Even though that chocolate was melting, it still managed to have a firm bite through mm. the chocolate. And then that middle was so nice, yeah. light and creamy but also not light at the same time. It's really rich dulgent and, and rich. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I thought that was going to be, when I found out about it being hazelnut and yeah. almond, I thought, oh great, it's going to be really nutty. It's not really nutty. No. It's got a good flavour. And like richness. richness. It's just rich. Yeah. It makes it like creamier, doesn't it? You know when we have different things and you're like... You prefer things to be more fruity and light. Mm -hmm. Usually, I prefer things to be like chocolatey Chocolate and rich. Yeah. This is my ideal. Yeah. Yeah. That I know. is what I'm talking about. I thought about. that would be a right mm. old you. <laughs> thought that'd be a right, right old, old you. <laughs> be up your alley. Right. What are you up giving that then? <laughs> be up your alley. <laughs> what was it? That's right up your alley. Yeah, right up your alley. <laughs> I think I'm going to give that a 12 out of 10. Really? It's delicious. It it's is so rich and indulgent. Delicious. I think I will have to give that a 10 out of 10. Mm. Maybe I'd give it a nine and I'd say, give me one with a truffled chocolate Ooh. and white oh, centre be nice. because the nuts, you know, mm. absolutely delicious. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Treat of the week. What are you doing? I added a beat. What did you? Well, because I hated shimmying with my arms up, so <laughs> I added a beat to come down. 
I'm going to say my treat of the week is going to have to be these because they're so rich and indulgent and lovely. Yep. And I think my treat of the week has to be these vegan mm. gummies because they're absolutely delicious. Yeah. Holes is going to love these. And I'm going to have to do an honourable mention oh, do you know what? for these because they are so good. I know. Oh, actually, and a quick little honourable for those Oh, yeah, as well. they were really delicious. But these as well. I was either choosing between those or the gummies, yeah. but I just the gummies pipped them to the yeah, post. pipped it to the post. Anyway, did you enjoy that? App? Yeah, I really loved it. What a great selection. And I think what's cool about the TK Maxx ones is they're from different countries, yep. so it's like... A mix all in one, yeah. which is really cool. Rather than just doing like a whole one in one yeah. go, it's so cool to have slightly different because there's different tastes in different countries, yeah. isn't there? So I thought that was amazing. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I did, thank you. Yes. If Good. you guys would like to enjoy some British treats, we have a link to our British candy shop down below. Yeah, we've got a whole selection of boxes on our website. We pick and pack them ourselves and send them out to you. And if you want to help support the channel, but you don't want to get one of those boxes, there's a little thanks button down below. Don't forget that's there. Exactly. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya